I am back again with John Blair. We're continuing our discussion on cloud security and helping to minimize your cyber risk of having data in the cloud. And today we're gonna to be talking more about some of the compliance and regulatory issues uh, and legal issues that companies face that are having their data and customer data, vendor data in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So John, can you tell me a little bit about uh, some of the regulations that impact the healthcare sector specifically? Yeah, the primary one is going to be HIPAA um, and associated uh, sub subsequent acts like high tech and things like that um, that augment HIPAA and, and some of the clear, more clearly defined some of the rules and regulations, primarily security rule and privacy rule. Um, so those are going to be the ones that primarily come, come into play, but there is also individual state versions of uh, health care acts that you need to abide by mm -hmm. um, and each state has one so you also <laughs> need to abide by by the state regulations as well interesting so it really uh, if a company is operating in multiple states they have a lot of issues to be looking they have a into. lot of regulations to to be aware of and to be compliant with yep so i know here in illinois uh, we have the Illinois Biometric Information Protection Act, otherwise known as BIPA, yeah. and that's been creating a, a lot of stir with um, Facebook recently had a settlement, yep. and apparently First Illinois time. residents that have Facebook accounts might be entitled to around $200 per yep. person. Um, if you yep. are in Illinois and have Facebook, supposedly you will be notified. Um, yeah, Illinois will is be the only one Facebook to do Messenger? I, I do not. Uh, <laughs> but Illinois, because of that law, Illinois residents are the only ones that are getting anything out of that uh, out of that lawsuit oh. um, because of that specifically because of that law. Got um, it. So I don't know the details of the law, but uh, on the surface, it seems to be headed the right direction. Uh, essentially, they they took the position that your biometric information, unlike your cell phone or your social security number, right. you can't change it. Right. So if that data becomes compromised, such as your fa facial vector map, yeah. or your fingerprint, or your DNA, that you can't, you can't swap it. It's part of who you are. Right, and those, you know, we're finally headed in the right direction where it's being considered personal. Yeah. Um, so, which I, I totally agree with. Um, well, we also had just this last month the California Consumer Privacy Act, known as CCPA, went into effect. And that, that's got a huge impact on anyone who does business with California residents. Yeah, that's, uh, that has yet to, I think people were preparing for that prior to that. Um, um, but it's going forward, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of repercussions from that uh, because there's gonna be obviously companies and, and uh, entities that don't prepare well for that and are going to get caught up in it because it covers, California is a huge state, a lot of people um, so you know, it's there's going to be yeah. some lawsuits. So it's also going to be such that if you're making medical devices for consumers, and you have that information relaying over 3G, 4G networks, you know, we've got yeah. CPAP machines, pacemakers, all other all, types of information, in, insulin of monitoring. monitors, yep. and that information going to the cloud. You know, if you're a California resident and your, that information gets breached, it could be used by marketers or it could be yep. used in other ways to target people. Yeah. Hospitals are gonna need to, to really step up their game with respect to that particular regulation. Um, you know, hospitals traditionally are a little bit behind, technically speaking, from a IT point of view. They're very much on the bleeding edge from a medical device IT point of view. Mm -hmm. um, but IT, they tend to lag behind because you can't, you know, it's hard to afford yeah. both. Um, but this is going to, you know, how they, how they allow individuals or, or um, access to their networks, what they allow in and what they allow out, because that's the, the channel these medical devices use, uh, is going to be very, very important that they, they get more control over those things. So as it relates to healthcare, what are some of the concerns about when a data incident is discovered to actually turn out to be a data breach? What types of reporting and notification requirements are unique to the healthcare sector? Well, first and foremost, you need to evaluate the, the situation and then have, in conjunction with your legal team and compliance teams, 
establish whether or not you you do officially declare it a breach, um, which means you need to investigate it. You need to involve any vendors that were involved with that data um, because it may have been a vendor that you've contracted with that actually had the breach or the disclosure and not you. Mm -hmm. um, but since they're your vendor, you're, you're also on the hook. Um, and that flows all the way up from business associates, which is what those two entities would be, up to the covered entity who actually owns the data. Um, so after a thorough investigation and you know, consultation with legal and compliance, a determination needs to be made whether or not you formally declared a breach. And if so, then there's all kinds of HIPAA standards that, uh, that come into play about notification to the government, notification to each individual mm -hmm. affected by the breach, um, what, what, is, what needs to take place with respect to that notification. There's a timeline involved um, that needs to be met. Uh, so there's all, you know, declaring it a breach is, is, a, is a very, very formal and arduous task. Yeah, not, not a pleasant one. No. In our, in our next segment on securing data in the cloud, we're going to be talking more about when a breach is discovered, some of the issues related to reporting the breach, and what that can mean to an entity, um, especially if it's not handled correctly. So thanks for being on the show again. Thanks, Lee.